I'm back with another video and thank you guys for tuning in. Today I'm going to be doing a requested video on how I clean my screens after I get finished printing a job. I've had quite a few people asking this question so I decided it was time to go ahead and do that video. So if you guys are interested and want to see my process, go ahead and stay tuned. The chemicals that I'm going to be using today are by the company ChemCore and to keep from having to um, explain while I am cleaning the screens what it is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right here but this is the pro wash this is actually the ink remover that I use on my to remove the ink from my screens while it's still on the press and before I send it into the washroom but this is the um, the pro wash all of my chemicals are in a spray bottle and I have them labeled as for what they are for so that I won't get them confused or mixed up because if you spray the wrong one on the screen you could be messing up your image before you're ready to clean the screen out and the next one that I use is right here this is CP2 this is ink and emulsion remover I use this one to remove the emulsion when I'm ready to reclaim the screen and I just spray it on there and I agitate the screen on both sides and use it to remove and this right here this is just basic cleaner and degreaser this is what I use to degrease my screens I have some other degreaser I just really prefer to use this because this is like it has to be mixed with something else and all this and that and you know it just takes up less time and it's it already this basic is called top job basic degreaser I will use this or some mean green either one of them and I use it to degrease my screens after I have reclaimed them so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the first step the cloths that I'm gonna be using in this video they're the wipe all x60 wipes by Kimberly Clark and actually you can use any wipes that you choose to but these are just the ones that I use and these are just your regular rubber gloves from your Sam's store but any gloves can be used these are clear I'm just gonna choose a random screen that I can do just to, to show you guys the process so I'm gonna take this blue screen right here and the first thing I would do is remove all of the ink from my screen using an ink card or ink spatula or whatever you guys decide to use what I'm using now is actually just a piece of cardboard and you get as much ink as you can out so that you can reuse it and once I have all the ink removed from my screen the next thing that I would do is spray it with my press wash And I already have used this one a little bit, so I'm going to use it to remove the ink. The first thing I try to do is remove the ink from the outer edges. Once I have the inside cleaned out, I take it over to the back side. And when I'm doing the back side, I like to spray a little bit onto my cloth. Now that the screen is fairly clean, I go ahead and remove my tape. You see, it took my glove off. I can go ahead and release my screen from the press. And there's still a few pieces of tape on the front that I use to cover pinholes and registration marks. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those now. Now I'm ready to take the screen into my washout booth so that I can remove the emulsion.
Now I actually have quite a few more screens to wash and sometimes washing screens takes quite a while depending on how many screens I have to wash but for the sake of the video I'm going to shorten it and I'm going to go ahead and start degreasing now. So what I do when I'm degreasing, I stack all my screens up here on top of the newspaper so it won't wet up the whole floor. Then I come back and I grab screens one by one. Once I grab the screen and go take it back in the washroom and finish degreasing it, then I take it and put it in the dark room in my drying rack. I'm going to try to show you guys the rest of that process. You cannot use the same sponge to, for degreasing your screens and reclaiming your screens. That just won't work out. It'll give you problems once you go in the dark room. So I'm going to get my sponge that I used for degreasing the screens and I'm going to head on in the dark room. So this is my setup for degreasing the screens. This and this. I usually put a little water in my bucket. And I bring my screens into the and put them in the washout booth and I spray them with this and I dip this in the water and scrub the, scrub the screens and get a good lather on there and once I'm done I have to make sure I wash the lather out, wash all the soap out really good. So that's what you're going to see me doing next. And that's basically how you would prepare your screens and reclaim them after you have finished printing your order and you know that you're not going to use those screens again. They're in my dark room drying so once they finish drying I would coat them with emulsion and I have a video on that if you guys would like to see how I coat the screens with emulsion. I have the screen printing 101. I do have that. I'll leave that video at the end of this one so that you can check it out. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested in any of the products or equipment that I use in this video, be sure to check the description box for links to where you can purchase your own. And one of the things that I didn't show you guys is my pressure washer. So I'm going to show that to you now. It is by Greenworks and it's just a basic pressure washer. And I think it was around a hundred bucks, maybe a little more, but I'm going to leave a link in the description box just in case you guys are interested.
a pressure washer is one of those things that you can get by without having. When I first started, I used to use the garden hose and I just had to scrub a little harder. And when I did get my pressure washer, things was a little easier, but that was before I got my washout booth. When I went ahead and built that uh, washout booth, and I'm gonna link that video at the end for you guys also, how I built my washout booth. And uh, my washout booth saved my back a lot of days and it works pretty good for a cheap price. So I'm gonna also link everything I use to make that washout booth in the description box below because I have had a few people asking questions about it and I was gonna have to look it up anyway so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye